Well, it may be just 40 seats, but it is clearly one of the most keenly contested elections here in Goa and Today is counting day. We are coming to you uh, from one of the two counting centers here in Goa. This is the North Goa counting center. There is also a counting center for South Goa. Uh, 19 of um, the 40 seats uh, will be counted here and 21 will be counted in South Goa. Uh, we are expecting that the results uh, should be clear by about uh, 11 a.m. today and as you can see this is uh, the counting center this is the way to the counting center right there uh, behind me um, a lot of uh, buzz a lot of activity here early in the morning counting is going to begin at um, 8 a.m. And it's going to be one of the most keenly contested battles. Like I've been saying, uh, the exit polls have been predicting a hung assembly, not a first for Goa. Several permutations and combinations, therefore, will be at play. And it's going to be very interesting to see, finally, uh, who manages to conjure the support of the regional parties, the kingmakers, and therefore go ahead and give the state of Goa, the next government. There's been a lot of political turmoil in this ocean state. There's been a lot of churning, a lot of defections, and a lot of questions asked about the nature, or rather the dirty nature, of Goan politics. Once again, with a hung house that is predicted, according to the exit polls, uh, it is going to be extremely interesting to see what kind of power games are then played. Remember, resort politics has already begun in Goa. Uh, if you look at uh, what we've been reporting here on NDTV, uh, you know, the, uh, the Congress party has its MLAs uh, hold up in a resort. They're leaving nothing to chance. Uh, they don't want defections like last time. Remember, uh, Last time around, there were 15 of the 17 Congress MLAs who were elected, who actually left the Congress party, defected and joined the BJP, enabling the BJP uh, to form the government, despite the fact that it was the Congress that emerged as the single largest party. The Aam Aadmi Party has taken a leaf of the Congress's book um, and, and has also kept their MLA candidates um, in safe houses and smaller groups across different parts of the state. BJP leaders uh, have been in a huddle. They've been meeting uh, uh, the BJP Congress in charge. Devendra Fadnavis is here in Goa taking stock of the situation. Senior leaders seem very confident. They've told NDTV that we don't need to resort to resort politics. The Goa Forward Party, one of the key regional players, says they are firmly behind uh, the Congress Party. They are in a pre-poll alliance. As far as the MGP is concerned, Sudhin Dabrekar, he could be a major deciding factor in today's election. He has so far come out uh, and said very clearly that he's talking with both the Congress and the BJP. How does that really play out given the fact that he's in a pre-poll alliance with the TMC? What happens to the fortune of the Aam Aadmi Party? that started to do very well in Punjab, will they manage to open an account this time uh, in the small state of Goa? So a lot of questions, a lot of flux, multi-cornered contest, and we'll of course continue to bring you the very latest uh, from Goa. All the numbers, all the analysis only here on NDTV.